They look beautifully light and feathery, I must say. Have one each, my dears, said Cook, in her comfortable voice. Your ma won't know. Oh, impossible. Fancy cream puffs so soon after breakfast. The very idea made one shudder. All the same, two minutes later, Josie and Laura were licking their fingers with that absorbed inward look that only comes from whipped cream. There is something about Catherine Mansfield's short story, The Garden Party, that just cuts through straight to the heart. The tragedy is never trivial to the reader, and like Laura at the end, we are left somewhat lost for words. But the words of the text just leap off the page. The dialogue and narration ticks along steadily, making the biggest deals over the smallest matters. Like the sandwiches, awkwardness is done to a tea. Laura's line, forgive my hat, could easily have been the story's closing words. But her brother Laurie gets the final line, an elliptical utterance that mirrors Laura's thoughts of oblivion. The sentence is never made complete, but is rendered perfectly in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> 